everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here I'm Jules so glad you could join me today today I'm going to be trying out a powder foundation specifically the Laura Geller powder foundation this is not a new powder foundation but I've been hearing some hype about this over on Instagram and so I wanted to try it out for myself so I went ahead and ordered it and I'm gonna be trying it out for the first time here today. So if you'd like to see how I prepped my skin for this powder foundation and see the actual application of it, see a wear test and see what my true thoughts are on this powder foundation, go ahead and keep on watching. All right guys, whenever you talk about powder foundations, I am super skeptical. Um, I am a liquid foundation girl. I've tried multiple different powder foundations and it just didn't do it for me. But this one definitely piqued my interest when I saw my favorite beauty guru over on Instagram try it. If you don't already follow her, she goes by Rosen Ben. She has awesome tutorials over on Instagram. She does daily tutorials over on her stories. And so that is what piqued my interest when I saw how this went on her skin, I wanted to try it for myself. So the bad thing is, is I couldn't find this over at Ulta where I usually have seen Laura Geller. I'm not sure if they're phasing this brand out at Ulta or what the deal is, but I was able to find this on Amazon and got it pretty quickly. And so I wanted to sit down today and try this out for you today. So I could not wait to try this out for you. I want to go ahead and give you some of the specifics of this product before I get into the demo. This basically says that it will balance your skin tone and brighten your day. This foundation makes shade matching your skin tone a breeze. Color correcting swirls of multicolored liquid pigments are baked for 24 hours on terracotta tiles, then hand finished in Italy. The result is a weightless, creamy coverage that self-adjusts to leave skin looking even flawless and beautifully radiant. Baked products are made without additional filler, so they cover with less product than traditional powders. These are infused with antioxidants, such as white tea extracts, to balance and brighten, giving you a luminous, perfecting coverage that you will love. Now this does contain talc and mica. It also has a dimethicone in it. So um, those are just some of the first ingredients that stand out to me. So if those are ingredients that you tend to stay away from because of allergies or whatnot, um, heads up, those items are in this product. Let me just jump over to the website and see if it says anything more about this. Okay, here's some more details, I guess, uh, some bullet points of why you'll love this. It, it does adjust to match skin. It has a demi matte finish, never cakey, creamy texture, weightless feel, light coverage, and it's handmade in Italy. Okay, so those are pretty much the highlights. There are nine shades in this range. And at first when I looked, um, I was wondering why there weren't more darker shades but this is a tone adjusting foundation, um, which is why it says it's really easy to shade match for that reason. So I did go ahead, you know what? They didn't have the shade deep on Amazon's website. They do have deep here on Laura Geller's website. So um, just something to note on Amazon, they only offer, was it five shades? Let me check. Okay, they offer six shades. Oh, they actually do have deep on Amazon, but it was on the first part of the spectrum. I just naturally gravitate towards the end for the deeper shades. They do actually have deep. I may order deep just to see if that one, um, how that one looks. I mean, I, do, I will say that this one did adjust pretty well. Um, so anyway, yeah, there are six of these shades on Amazon. You have three on the darker spectrum on here. If you are deeper skinned, there is tan, deep, and toffee. So that's a plus. Um, on the lighter side, it's got light, medium, and golden on Amazon, if that's where you wanna order it from. But on the website, on Laura Geller's website, there are all nine shades, if you wanna look for that. It looks like there is a way to shade match on here as well. There are some steps that you can follow and answer some questions 
to find your shade match. Let's see, price-wise, on Laura Geller's website, it is 34. Let me jump over to Instagram. It is 34 on Instagram as well. So $34 uh, for this powder foundation. Let's go ahead and jump on into the demo really quickly. I will show you how I prepped my skin in order to apply this. And then I will be back for my initial thoughts. And then I'll definitely do a wear test as well. Good morning, all. I am sitting down here in front of a camera for the first time in about two weeks, I think. I was luckily able to film about two weeks worth of content um, before we left on our road trip. So we have been back for a few days now. I uh, am excited to be sitting back down and filming today. So let's go ahead and get started. I wanted to go ahead and show you the prep behind this powder foundation because it can be a little bit tricky I have not used this powder foundation yet. It is gonna be a first impression for me, but I wanted to show you how I prepped my skin for this, just in case I love it. So I did go ahead and prep my skin with sunblock after I washed it this morning. Now we're gonna go ahead and get into some of the prep. Um, I'm gonna go in with my Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Dew Drops. This has become a staple in my skincare routine. I love the way that this makes my skin glow, gives me a little bit of hydration, and really preps my skin nicely. So I'm just going to take my Anissa All Over Care Brush, just going to pump a little dot of this onto the brush. That's a little bit more than I usually do, so I'm just going to evenly disperse this on both sides. And I'm going to go ahead and just work this into the skin. See how beautiful of a glow that gives your skin. So I like to just take it in this area right here. I did go ahead and fill in my brows just to eliminate that step later. Take a little bit of it onto the forehead right here. And that's gonna be about it. I am worried about some of the pores here in this area. So I'm just gonna take my Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas Primer and just pump a little bit, just taking a small pump and, and applying that right into these areas. And I'll just take the leftover and take it right into these areas where I have a little bit of shine that usually peeks through. So I'm just gonna work this into the skin with my finger, just pressing. Okay, I have that pressed into the skin. It's just gonna eliminate any shine in this area and then fill in those pores for me. Next, I'm going to do a little bit of color correcting. This is a new fave of mine from e.l.f. This is um, the deep shade in the color correcting stick. I'm gonna take this and just cancel out some of this darkness right around my mouth area. And I think I'm gonna take a little bit right into the corner of my eye right there. And then I'm just gonna work this into the skin. So I'm not sure how much coverage this powder foundation is going to have, but I do wanna do a little bit of color correcting. And this one I like because it virtually just kind of disappears and literally cancels out the darkness. I don't see um, a harsh orange or red in that area that I'm gonna have to cover up with the powder. So this just does a really good job of just canceling out the darkness. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this under the eye as well and just cancel out some of the darkness here because I don't wanna go in with heavy concealer today. I wanna keep things pretty light. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. I forgot to go in with this one step, but I'm gonna go ahead and add it over the color corrector. This is the Becca Anti-Fatigue Under Eye Primer. And this one was in my Shop My Stash for the month. I uh, wanted to just reach back into this and see if it made a difference as far as uh, diminishing lines underneath the eyes and just smoothing that area out. So I'm just going to dip into this. I'm just picking up a little bit on my finger right here and I'm just gonna press it. So just pressing that gently into the eye area. 
Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my concealer and set it. I don't wanna go in with this on top of the powder. So I wanna keep things light. So I wanna go in with this e.l.f. Flawless Brightening Concealer. I have mine in the shade Tan 45 Neutral. This has a pretty light coverage, yet it is brightening. So I wanted to go ahead and use this today. I'm gonna do a cup, maybe just one click. Let's see how much comes out. Yeah, I think that's plenty. So I think I'm just going to add this right here in the inner corner of my eye just to cancel out any darkness. And do one more click. Okay, so I forgot my normal uh, concealing brush. So I'm just gonna go in with my BK Beauty 202 brush and work that into the skin. I'm just bringing it up into this area that has a little bit of darkness. I'm going to add just a tad bit on this side more. I'm just going to take the leftover and take a little bit more to this side as well. Okay, I think that looks good. Just a little bit of light coverage there under the eyes. And then I am going to go ahead and set with my Givenchy powder. So I'm just going to take this and do one tap just like that in hopes that Yes, I wanna make sure I get all of those colors in there. So I just swept my puff over some of that powder and I'm smoothing it out on the back of my hand. And then I'm just gonna take my brush and make sure that I don't have any creasing. You wanna fix all the creasing before you set. Okay, I think we are finally ready for the powder. Here is the outer packaging for it. I do have the shade tan. Here is the packaging. There is the shade that I picked up. I love that it has such a marble effect in there and you can really see, you know, the color correction that could possibly come from this just from all the colors that are in there. And then this does have a mirror on one half of the top. I guess one side is clear so you can see the color in it. I'm just going to take a big fluffy powder brush. This is my Japanese one. It is clean and I'm just going to... Okay, this is very uh, powdery. You will see a lot of kick up in this when you swirl your brush in it. I'm gonna pick up just a little bit more. Okay, do we see a difference? Here is the side that I applied, and then here is the side that I haven't applied yet. So just from looking off in my mirror, I do see a little bit of blurring on this side and it does look smoother on this side compared to this side okay I'm gonna continue working this onto the forehead go ahead and take this onto my lids I definitely do like this side. It's 
kind of amazing. It's not full, full coverage, but it really does just kind of correct your skin just in that little tad bit. Let's continue. So I'm just taking my brush and swirling it into the product just like that. That's what the brush looks like. And then I'm just gonna continue working it on this side, taking it down my nose. There is one shade deeper than this one, but um, I heard that you're supposed to go in a shade lighter and that it just corrects itself. Dipping into it one more time. And I'm just tapping it into the skin. I'm going to swirl it or sweep it onto the skin just to see what it does. If there's any difference. I'm really curious as to how this is going to look when I step away from all the lights and uh, go look in go look at it in some natural light or some sunlight. Really curious to see what this is going to look like. Let me just step away and show you what it looks like. Wow, you guys, look at this. Oh my gosh, this looks amazing. I am really wowed. This is just the foundation. I literally just stepped out from filming just because I wanted to see how this looked in indoor light. Look at this. I'm gonna step outside. Okay, it is so bright out here. I can hardly open my eyes, but I just wanted to show you what this looked like outside. This looks really amazing. I'm blown away. Okay, so I'm gonna keep watching this to see if I need to go a shade deeper. There is one shade deeper, it is toffee. I went with tan because uh, when watching Rose and Ben, she said that you could actually go a shade lighter and it color corrects to your skin. So it looks like almost a good match. I feel like I could maybe go a touch darker, but I can definitely deepen this up with a little bit of bronzer, which is what I'm gonna do. Um, so I'm just going to go in with my Huda Beauty Glow Wish bronzer and I'm going to warm up the face just a little bit. I finally have all clean brushes so I'm excited to go in with this brush to see how this bronzer does with this brush. So just going into all the normal areas that I usually bronze. I'm actually going to take this right on the outer parts of my lids just to add a little bit of definition there since I didn't use shadow today. This is a, a great quick trick if you don't want to put on shadow. And then I'm just going to pick up some and run it down the sides of my nose. Right at the tip. I'm gonna go ahead and add some drops to my eyes, add some mascara, go in with some lips, and then I will be back to give you my initial thoughts. All right, guys, here we are after the demo. I wanted to show you how everything initially looks here after application. Now, giving my skin the once over, I will say that it did match pretty well, and then once I applied my bronzer, I think, um, it gave my skin the depth that it needed, but that's with any foundation. But I will definitely try that deeper shade, I think. We'll order that definitely and just see how that one does compared to this one. This one is tan, but I will say that it did a really good job of shade matching or self-adjusting on its own. So I, I do like that. Um, I will honestly, I will say that even though uh, I do have, and in case you didn't know, I do have normal to oily skin. Normal pretty much all over, and then it does tend to get oilier in the T-zone. So combo skin for the most part. And to be honest, I will say that this middle section feels a little dry. 
And so next time I use this, I may go ahead and apply that glow recipe all over my face just to see what it does. Um, it doesn't look dry in the center at all. It just feels a little dry right here in the center, right in this area where I applied the um, Tatcha primer. So next time I will go ahead and just apply that glow recipe all over just to see how it feels. So I will say that if you're used to super full coverage with a liquid foundation, it's not going to be comparable to that. This is more of a lightweight foundation in my opinion. You can build this up. Um, I built this up two or three times. I think you can continue to build a little bit more if you want a little bit more coverage. I can see some sunspots here in this area. I can see, you know, some of my freckles and things like that peeking out. But lately I've been into lighter, more sheerer foundations than I used to be. Used to, I would like that full, full coverage, but now I'm really appreciating my skin and wanting my skin to show through foundations. So I'm okay with, you know, the freckles and the spots peeking through. That doesn't bother me. When I look at my face, you know, at a normal distance with my mirror here, it looks really good. I'm really impressed by this. Um, and you'll see, you, you would have seen that in the demo where I actually stepped away, went into some natural indoor lighting and then also into the sunlight to show you what it really looked like away from all of these lights. But um, yeah, I am really, really amazed by this overall. Um, this is a really big breakthrough for me as far as foundations. I've tried many, many different powder foundations and just was not happy with the way that it made my skin look or feel. But this one, wow, this is really wowing me. I will definitely do a wear test for you. I'm not sure how long that I'm going to have this on today, but I will definitely do a check-in for you at the end of the day before I wash everything off. And yeah, I'm about to go out into this sweltering heat outside. We are in the 97 degrees and almost into the 100s. Here in Texas, we were in for a rude awakening when we got back from our road trip. And um, so yeah, I'm really gonna test this out. Gonna be uh, in the car and um, out a little bit in the heat, not full on for a long time, but I'm definitely going to feel the effects of the heat once I leave the house. So we'll get a true test of all of that. So if you're interested, go ahead and stick around for um, the wear test portion of this video. And yeah, I'm gonna leave it right here for now. So I applied this at 11-ish this morning. It is almost 3.30 in the afternoon. I have already been out and about, um, ran a few errands kind of in and out of the car in this crazy heat that we're in right now. And every time I look in the mirror, I am just mind blown at how amazing my skin looks. This is powder foundation. So far, I am still loving this. All right, y'all, this is going to be the last check-in for me. It is, I don't know if you can see my clock there, 9.52. And I put this on a little bit, probably like 11-ish this morning. And still, I am overall really impressed with this powder foundation. It looks really good. Now, if I'm going to be picky. I am going to pull you in close and show you here where I used color corrector. You can kind of see where the powder has worn away. And the color corrector is kind of exposed. But I mean, you have to get up really close to see that. I actually saw that in my magnifying mirror. But far off, it still looks really good. So I, I'm mind blown with this powder foundation. I think that it is really good and I don't know what took me so long to try it. This is such an amazing product. This is not a new product. It's just something that was on my radar after Rose and Ben tried it and um, I wanted to try it out for myself. So I am pleasantly surprised. This is definitely going to be a regular staple in my routine, especially for these hot summer months. 
Uh, side note, I did hang out in the backyard this evening. It was considerably cooler because the sun was going down, but it was still pretty warm. So keeping all of that in mind, I think that this is pretty, pretty amazing. I think it's gonna be a really quick, easy foundation just to throw on really quick if you wanna have a little something on your face. I mean, this is even better than a skin tint, in my opinion. It really makes it look like you do have foundation on, but it's so light, it's a powder that you're literally just swirling around with a brush and tapping onto your face. So that's why it's so mind blowing to me. So anyway, that is gonna wrap up my review of this powder foundation. Let me know if you guys have tried this one out for yourself. Um, let me know if you have any questions about this. Leave everything for me down in the comments below. If you enjoy videos like these, don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way out. And as always, I love you guys. Be blessed and I will see you in the very next one. Bye.